You can take your seats. <clears throat> um, waziri wetu wa mambo ya usalama pamoja na PS wako Inspector General wa jeshi letu la polisi and your deputies my good friend the governor of Nyeri County and all the leaders present here um, senior police officers family and friends of graduates and the graduating detail good afternoon I am very happy to preside over this very important event which marks the successful completion of the National Police Service recruits course for and by 2,881 new officers. This passing out parade is a critical milestone in Kenya's journey to enhance our police ratio and at the same time emphasize our commitment to align with evolving security needs and policing approaches. I congratulate the new officers before me who have demonstrated their mettle over a rigorous nine month long training experience. This graduating or graduation signifies that you have and are now qualified to join your colleagues in serving the people of Kenya through your chosen and noble profession, the police service. Your presence here makes it clear to all in the world that you have been tested and you have passed. It is evidence of your readiness to meet the challenges of your high calling with courage, integrity, and professionalism. It is also a signal that you have emerged from among hundreds of thousands of applicants and satisfied all the requirements to qualify as police officers. And I say this afternoon, congratulations. You will now proudly wear the uniform which confers upon you a duty to always dignify it as a badge of honor and symbol of your identity as patriotic, selfless servants, protectors, and trusted emblem of authority. In this uniform, you will be called upon at all times to be conscious of the immense power and privilege you have and to be mindful of your corresponding obligation to exercise it conscientiously and responsibly. The best way to uphold and observe the dignity and respect for your uniform is by serving with dedication, selflessness, integrity and patriotism in order to discharge your duties firmly but also fairly. It is important therefore that beyond the police standing orders, criminal procedure and penal code and the constitution, you also acquaint yourself thoroughly with the national values and principles of governance set out in Article 10 of the Constitution. This way, you will remain ever conscious of our commitment to deliver a new citizen-centric, service-oriented, and human rights-respecting policing and security paradigm that keeps the Republic of Kenya and its people safe without sacrificing their rights and freedoms. It is incumbent upon you to serve in such a manner that we should never have to make the odious trade-off between democracy, rule of law, and freedom on one hand, and security on the other. Whenever we find ourselves even considering such a bargain, we may be sure that we are on the verge of taking 
ten, uh, dangerous shortcuts in governance. On behalf of the government of Kenya and the people of Kenya, I wish to assure you of our commitment to keep our side of the bargain in this matter and to deliver on our commitments to you and to your colleagues in the uniform, in the uniform service. We commend you for your readiness to put your life on the line for the sake of our safety, our security, and our well-being. We appreciate the many sacrifices that you and your families have to make so that citizens can enjoy their rights and freedoms in an environment of law and order. We are therefore going to enhance our community policing partnerships to improve police effectiveness and responsiveness in addressing emerging security challenges. This is essential because even though we are taking measures to increase police numbers, the police cannot be everywhere and must be complemented by community-based efforts and initiatives. Government is also committed to facilitating efficient coordination between various agencies in resolving problems that call for joint approaches. It is critical for us to exploit the potential for synergy among organizations throughout the criminal justice system to deliver better value for Kenyans. Further, we are committed therefore to support you in actualizing your obligation to bring together and coordinate effective collaboration between stakeholders at the national and county level in order to establish and deploy community policing structures. Additionally, government remains committed to enhancing its investment in the institutions, in policies and strategies, infrastructure and equipment necessary to modernize the police service, maintain and enhance professional standards and effectiveness and efficiency in service delivery. As you will recall, I presided over the official opening of the National Police Leadership Academy to ensure that the pro process of improving police standards and efficiency is institutionalized and structured through higher learning. I expect output from that Leadership Academy as we go into the future by empowering our senior police officers with the necessary skills to make them efficient and effective. You will also remember that on my first day in office, I executed the instrument granting financial autonomy to the National Police Service. Through the transfer of the police budget from the office of the president to that of the inspector general, the service acquired the independence necessary to uphold efficiency, professionalism, and accountability in addressing various security challenges. The decision also provided impetus in the fight against corruption, improved citizen confidence in the police, thereby enhancing the institution's credibility and authority, and ended the culture of weaponizing the criminal justice system. We have also delivered on our commitment to our gallant men and women serving in the police service by establishing the police and prison service reform task force that was sworn in yesterday to look into a range of issues affecting police delivery, including the terms and conditions of service of our police officers. In connection with the welfare and conditions of service, we have prioritized the provision of spacious, comfortable, safe, secure, and affordable housing for police officers in our affordable housing plan. This will go a long way in delivering our pledge to address the housing shortage facing members of the police service. And I want to ask the leadership of our disciplined forces 
from the army, through the police, all the way to our prison officers, to, pro to be in consultation with the Ministry for Housing so that we can fast track and prioritize the delivery of housing for our men in uniform as a mechanism of ensuring that they can become much more effective and much more efficient by ensuring that their children and their families are properly catered for in decent, affordable housing. Cognizant of the importance of health and psychosocial psycho needs of police officers, the government will provide a comprehensive insurance scheme effective this month, available to members of the police and prison service and their families. Additionally, two fully equipped national police service hospitals are complete and will soon be ready to serve members of the force, including their families. This will ensure that the police finally have access to priority, dedicated, and appropriate facilities for physical and mental wellness. To optimize the crime-solving capabilities of our modern, professional, and efficient police service, the government is enhancing its investment in National Forensic Laboratory to ensure that it has the necessary modern equipment and facilities to conclude complex investigations and significantly improve the success rate in supporting prosecution of criminals. Kenya is ready for a new policing paradigm. This is a most auspicious day for you because you arrive ready for this moment in the service in institutional history. There is no turning back, and I urge you to remain steadfast and forward-looking as we embrace the future of the police as an essential service, noble profession, and a profession of high calling. I am confident that you are worthy of the trust reposed on you and that you will live up to your oath, meet the expectations of Kenyans, be the citizens' guardians as they go about their lives and livelihoods, and be brave protectors when danger or crime comes calling. And Mr. IG, as we expect from these great officers, to perform their part of the bargain, I expect that we, on our path, even as we wait for the recommendations of the police task force, that these officers who live here today, each officer will get the requisite uniform. I do not expect what has been happening in the past that these officers are asked to go and look for uniforms and buy them using their own money in all manner of places. It is my expectation that these officers will be given uniform by the government of Kenya, the appropriate uniform. And secondly, Mr. IG, I expect that the uniform that these men and women will be given will be of the quality that meets the standard for our policemen and women who perform a distinguished security function in the Republic of Kenya. I expect that that will be worked out between your office and the office of the minister so that whatever additional resources that are required are provided for so that these officers can wake up in the morning, go to duty, knowing very well that the government of Kenya stands ready and behind them as they perform that very important responsibility of protecting the people of Kenya and their lives. I also expect that going into the future, we are going to implement the recommendations that will come from our task force because 
I am a great believer that we should professionalize every institution and Kenyans must be proud to serve in any institution. In any case, we believe kazi ni kazi. There is absolutely no difference between what I do as president and what these officers do in their respective capacities because we all serve the people of Kenya and everybody must have the best opportunity and the necessary capability and the requisite environment for them to deliver on their mandate and responsibility and therefore we're going to ensure that men in uniform have a career like any other career in the Republic of Kenya. My good officers, serve all professionally and selflessly with honor, respect, and dignity without hesitation, fear, or discrimination, and in keeping with your motto, Utumishi Kwawoti. I pray for your success in service. May Almighty God keep you safe and bless the work of your hands. May your sacrifices find favor before God. May we be worthy of your patriotism and may you always be blessed beyond measure. Congratulations again on your successful completion of this training. I wish you well and I look forward to working with you. Thank you and God bless you.